guys, Brian here from Liquid Concept. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about scopes. And so what we've got here is we've got a Vortex scope that we have gotten from a customer and we're going to be dipping it in a multicam pattern. And so a um, couple of things on this right here, of course, as you can probably tell, we've went through here and we've taped off all of these little areas, like where the serial number is, where the Vortex logo is, where any of the uh, parts are that you need to see as far as uh, the plus and the minus, the elevation, the windage, things like that. Um, they've all been taped off and ready to go. And so uh, done a little bit of prep work on this first, um, got all this ready to go. We've scuffed it, we've primered it, and then of course we have painted it. And so now we are ready to dip it. So there's a couple of things that uh, you need to look at whenever you're dipping the scope. The first thing is, is how are you going to get to dip it? With this thing having all three of these turrets all the way around, um, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to just go straight down with it. Um, not saying it can't be done, but it's probably not going to work. And so this is one of those things where you would actually probably have a better result in rolling it than you would with anything. And so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to go down into the water like this and then flatten out. And then once we flatten out like this, then we're going to turn it and now I'm just going to turn it with my hands because it's easier but we're just going to turn it like this right here about 180 in the water and so what that's going to do is that's going to give us a nice little line right down the bottom of this which is of course the bottom of the scope so then that way whenever the scope is sitting on the gun the line is at the bottom of the scope and of course you don't see it so if everything goes right, everything is dipped right, and the activator is applied correctly to the film, then you should have a very good pattern going all the way around the entire film. And so the film will actually stretch over these turrets, all three of them, all the way around. Now, yes, it's going to stretch. There's no way around that. But um, we should have a very nice, smooth stretch all the way around here, and then, of course, up here it's just a normal round part so nothing extravagant about that but um, if we didn't have the turrets on this right here then yes we could easily go down just like that even on this larger end right right over here compared to the smaller end we still could have just went down like that but the turrets is what's making us uh, need to roll it so we're gonna go ahead get our um, film together so the couple of things to remember is is that you know the film that's needed for this part may only be like this much right just this by this but here's the kicker you have to have room to fit your hands in the actual film itself as you're dipping it and so on this right here this is one of those films that we're actually going to or one of the parts that we're actually going to need a lot more film than what's necessary to actually dip the part so in this case, what we're actually going to do is just to make sure that we have plenty of room, we're going to take this and then flip it over to about right there. And then we're also going to give ourselves a little bit of room just to make sure. And so I'm just going to go all the way across to right here and then we'll be good to go. So on something like this, I'm just going to pretty much just cut it in half. And so if for whatever reason this side doesn't work, We've got the other side that we can still get um, another dip out of. But um, in this case right here, by cutting it this large, it's way more than what we need, but I can able, I'm can i able to fit my hands down inside the film as I'm going down into it and then being able to roll it. So then that way, whenever we go to dip it, um, I have a lot more control. I don't have to sit there and try to bunch my hands up in it and I have plenty of room to actually dip the part. So let's go ahead, we'll get this cut, uh, get it laid, on, laid in on the water and then we'll um, get to dipping, so stay tuned.
So just like every other film, we'll pull our dividers in, set our timer, and then we'll be ready to go. Now, one thing that I've kind of noticed with these, um, and we just got through doing um, some uh, multicam and uh, in the black series, uh, or black multicam, whatever you want to call it, um, had about a 90 second soak time. So um, definitely want to check your film before you lay it on the water or even just do a small sample piece before you do the actual part itself just to make sure on the times that you need to let it soak and everything like that so then that way you're not throwing in your film and then you activate it and then it still doesn't have enough soak time so then it doesn't work correctly so uh, we've got our timer set for about 90 seconds right now so we're gonna go ahead grab some gloves on and get to activating it here at the 90 second mark. All right, so we got 90 seconds on the clock and then now we're just going to spray the activator and then get it activated and then get it dipped. All right, so everything glassed out really smooth on that. Looks good. Now again, you want to make sure that you turn your that you turn your hands back, so then that way you're able to actually roll it all the way in. So we'll go down about halfway here, and then stop, and then go down about halfway right there, and stop, and then slowly roll it all the way around just like this and then now once we've hit our 360 mark we can pull it right back out so of course we have our line at the bottom which is what we need all of this right here is going to rinse off but everywhere else all the way around we have a very beautiful multicam pattern looks great the dip came out really good I'm really happy with it we've got really great coverage around all the turrets and everything like that so um, I would definitely call this a very good hit so um, we're gonna go ahead get this rinsed and then get it clear coated and then um, show you guys the end result so stay tuned alright so now that we've got everything cleared we got everything touched up which there was pretty much literally almost no touch-ups uh, I think maybe just a few little specks here and there um, but uh, the dip came out really good. We were super excited about that, super happy with it. And uh, once we got the flat clear on there and pulled all of the, um, the tape off that we actually taped everything up with, um, this scope looks amazing. Um, as you can see right here, uh, so here now you can see what all this looks like. So of course we've got our vortex right through here and then we pulled this off initially so then that way it didn't affect the dip and then we've got all of our numbers that we can read all through here you've still got all of your numbers your windage and elevation numbers and then of course all of your numbers down here and even the back part as well so even putting on the flip up caps like this these slide on very easily uh, so that way they will flip up flip back down you can pull those off everything will still turn um, very easily so i think the customer is definitely going to be happy with this um, hopefully this video has helped you guys out uh, as always if you have any questions or comments definitely leave them below we'd love to hear from you about anything that you've got question related to the dip uh, the scope anything like that and even if you have other things that you want to see us dip or anything like that and make a video on definitely let us know because we'd love to hear from you as always um, if you haven't already definitely hit the subscribe button we'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks on anything hydrographics related i'm brian from liquid concepts and we're making hydrographics great again see you guys next time